Hello, I'm Dan Huckabee, and this is a special video demonstration of the various models and brands of devices that are designed to help you figure out licks off of recordings. We're going to go over all of the special features of each and let you see and hear how each works and compares to the others. Then, hopefully, after you've seen how they all perform, you'll be able to decide which one will best suit your personal needs and pocketbook. This is a regular cassette professional field recorder made by Marantz. It has four special features that can help you figure out licks. Half speed, pitch control, quick review, and memory rewind. The first is the half speed switch. It's got normal cassette speed, which is 1 and 7 eighths inches per second, and half of normal, which is 15 sixteenths. When you slow this machine down to half speed, the pitch gets lowered to exactly one octave lower, which means that a C note will be the next lower C note, and the sound is obviously draggy. It has pitch control, which is a control that allows you to speed up or slow down the recording gradually. This feature allows you to tune the recording to your instrument, and it's vitally important that you're in tune with the tape before you ever start trying to figure anything out, or you'll be very confused trying to find notes on your instrument that are out of tune in the first place. Now, if you play harmonica, and your harmonica isn't in tune with the recording, you're in trouble if you don't have pitch control, simply because you can't tune a harmonica at all. So if you can't bring the mountain to Muhammad, you bring Muhammad to the mountain by altering the tape recording. If you play a stringed instrument, you can tune the instrument to be in tune with the recording, but it's quicker and easier to tune the recorder than to tune all six strings of the guitar. So in other words, tuning the recorder is like only having to tune one string as opposed to six. Next, it has a feature called quick review. In other words, we need to have a way to play it again, Sam, as they say, because hearing each part over and over uh, will be necessary as we're going through the learning process. There are several different features for getting instant gratification when we need to hear a part multiple times. And this one, which is my personal favorite, is called Quick Review or Cue and Review. 
I'll demonstrate it. As you can see, quick review is simply rewinding while the play button is still engaged. The same thing works for the FF or fast forward button. With the quick review feature, you physically hold the rewind button down until you get back as far as you want to go and then simply let go. As long as you hold the rewind button down, it'll keep rewinding. When you release it, it automatically starts playing at that point in the tape. How do you know how long to keep holding? You just learn that by experience. Usually, you've just been working on a few notes, so you just tap it for a split second. You'll get the hang of it after a few tries. If you overshoot your mark, then you hit the fast forward button. I'll demonstrate. If you didn't have quick review, you'd have to hit stop, and then rewind, and then rush back to stop to stop it from rewinding, and then hit play again. This is literally four times as many steps, and that really adds up, as you can imagine. Remember, when you rewind while play is depressed, they call it review instead of rewind, and when you fast forward while play is depressed, they call it cue instead of fast forward. You've probably noticed that rewinding is silent normally, but has this chipmunk sound when play is engaged. Remember, that doesn't hurt the machine or the tape. It's just putting the heads up close to the tape so that you can hear it rewinding. They've designed it this way so you can listen to the sound, and when it gets to silence, you'll know you've reached the spot between songs in the tape. Another handy Play It Again device on this particular machine is Memory Rewind. This is simply a way to mark the spot on the tape that you want to return to. So you go to the place in the tape that you want to return to, reset the tape counter to zero, depress the memory button, and start the tape playing. Now, whenever you want to go back to the place you've marked, you simply hit the rewind, and it will go back, stop at zero, and automatically start playing from the zero mark. This feature is really handy when you're doing long distance rewinding. If you want to play along with a whole song over and over, you just set the memory rewind and get ready to play while it's rewinding. For shorter distances, like figuring out a few notes at a time, I prefer the quick review feature myself. This machine also has a built-in speaker system, so you can use it as a standalone. It has a headphone jack and it has RCA line in and line out, which will allow you to use it as a component to your stereo system. And it is mono rather than stereo. It's priced the highest of the four units in this demonstration. Next is the Akai Riffomatic. This device has two features that Marantz doesn't have, pitch correcting and freeze framing. It's easy to confuse pitch correcting with pitch control but they are actually two completely different things. Pitch correcting is slowing something down to half speed without lowering the pitch.
Now, as you can hear, there's a kind of warbly sound when you slow something down and pitch correct it. The way pitch correcting works is by doubling every frame of the recording. Its computerized digital technology divides it into frames, just like this strip of camera film. So if you took a picture of Larry first, then another picture of Curly, then another picture of Mo, you could double each one, and then you'd have Larry, Larry, Curly, Curly, Mo, Mo. So this is what they do when they slow something down without dropping the pitch. But since they've doubled each frame of the music, it introduces a bit of distortion that makes it sound warbly. The other special feature of the Riffomatic is freeze framing. The Riffomatic people call it note grabber, and the way it works is to stop the recording at each frame in the music. As you can see, it holds that one note that you stopped on until you decide to move on. Okay, now, this device doesn't allow you to pop in your favorite CD or cassette and slow down any song. It simply has a memory chip inside that stores up to 13 and a half seconds of recorded music in its memory. So what you have to do is to make a copy from your CD machine, cassette, record player, or whatever. If you have a solo you want to figure out that's 20 seconds long, you have to record the first half into the riff matic and work on it for a while, and then later record the second half into the riff matic and then work on the second half for a while. This is obviously inconvenient, but it's what you have to put up with in order to get freeze framing and pitch correction. So in other words, when you record the second half of the solo, it automatically copies over and erases whatever you'd previously recorded. So if you forgot something from the first half and need to go back, you have to record the first half into the riff matic all over again. Many of today's telephone answering machines work on the same principle. They have a mem memory chip that holds 15 seconds rather than a cassette tape that stores your outgoing message. This can be good because a chip can go back to the beginning faster than a tape can because a tape takes time to rewind. If you want to record a longer passage, you can sample your phrase at a lower resolution and double your time. This will give you 27 seconds rather than 13 and a half and the quality you lose is barely noticeable. The next feature is looping. Looping just means playing a phrase over and over until you decide you want to stop it. In other words, when you record 13 seconds into it, it'll play that 13 seconds over and over indefinitely. If you want it to loop a shorter segment, you can choose where you want it to start and stop and then play it over and over as long as you wish. It also has a frequency filter that isolates the mid-range or low frequencies to help you hear the solo or bass in instrument you're interested in. <laughs> Thank you.
You can also plug your instrument into the Riffomatic and hear yourself as if you were part of the recording or just use it as a practice amp with headphones. It's a mono unit and is priced lower than the Marantz but higher than the Rock and Plays. This one here is the cassette Rock and Play. <laughs> This is similar to the Marantz in that it's cassette and it has half speed, pitch control, and quick review, but it has two things that make it different from the Marantz. First, which is the negative aspect, it doesn't record. It's only a playback device. On the positive side, it's also a pra practice amp that's designed for two people. So you can plug in and play any electric instrument along with the tape. In other words, it'll sound like you're part of the recording on the cassette. If you get together with a friend, you can both plug your instruments into it at the same time and both play along with the recording or stop the tape and just play with each other, effectively using the unit as a two-person practice amp. There are two headphone jacks, so you both will have your own headphones or you could use it as a component to your stereo system or instrument amp to hear yourself and the tape through external speaker system. It's also stereo and also has chorus distortion so that you can choose either of those special effects for your instrument if you care to. So in other words, this unit is the same as the Marantz, but this one can double as a practice amp while the Marantz can record. Keep in mind that you don't necessarily have to hear your instrument from the same source as the recording to be able to hear them both at the same time. By the way, it's a little unstable to work with, which means you'll find yourself using one hand to hold it while using the other to push the buttons, whereas on the Marantz and Riffomatic, you'll have a hand free for your instrument. The last unit I have for show and tell is the digital rock and play. This device is the same as the Riffomatic, but it doesn't correct pitch or freeze frame. It can fit in your shirt pocket, and you can record 15 seconds of music into its memory chip. When you slow something down, it'll drop the pitch exactly one octave, just like the Marantz and the cassette rock and play. It's a mono unit and has the looping feature like the Riffomatic and has pitch control and uncorrected half speed and distortion that you can put on your instrument if you choose. Just like its cassette brother, it can serve as a practice amp and you can plug in and play along with the recording, but for only one person. Both rock and play models are priced about the same and are the lowest price lick learning machines on the market. So those are the units that are currently being used by professionals and amateurs as well. They all have their pluses and minuses, and we sincerely hope that this little demonstration will have answered most of your questions and will allow you to pick the model and brand that best suits your personal needs.